Concerns about morale and claims of toxic culture at the University of Tasmania are not new, and staff do not hold back when given the chance to vent anonymously in an online survey. Staff morale is the lowest in 10 years. There is no safe avenue to address bullying and it's getting out of control. I want to be consulted properly, not this sham consultation where management tells and then ignores the feedback. The survey was supposed to be online for a week but was shut down after just two days following a barrage of mostly negative feedback. This is typical of the way that the university um, won't listen to staff. It's a way of silencing and censoring staff voices within the institution. The survey asked staff what issues mattered most to them and what particular areas the staff session should focus on. More than 100 comments were made, many raising serious allegations. Our members report to us on a very frequent basis that they believe that they're bullied and harassed within the university workplace. Staff also raised concerns about underpayment. In a statement, Vice-Chancellor Rufus Black says a thorough review of staff underpayment was launched in 2021 and will be finalised by the end of the year. He says the university takes allegations of bullying extremely seriously and is encouraging anyone who's fallen victim to bullying to report it either in person or anonymously. The Legislative Council has passed a motion to establish an inquiry into the University of Tasmania. It comes after concerns about the university's move into Hobart CBD, lectures moving online and the underpayment of staff. That's an opportunity for UTAS to explain their positions. It's an opportunity for workforce representation uh, to come along to the inquiry and explain their views. And it's also an opportunity for the public to engage. <laughs> But the state government insists it's simply a health check. To have a routine uh, inquiry into the University of Tasmania, it's not an attack in any way on the university. A date for the inquiry hasn't been set. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.